Hey guys. Hey guys. It has been a while and we apologize for it taking so long before we uh, got back to you all. But as we shared in some of the previous videos, uh, life has been happening uh, full steam ahead. Um, last time we, we touched bases, um, we were, uh, we, we had some stuff tentatively scheduled for, uh, for a transfer and, you know, some, uh, some things went, uh, not, COVID. some things went not as planned. Uh, so first COVID. off before, before COVID, um, uh, we were looking at the, uh, at the uterus lining and all, and with the uterus lining, it wasn't, uh, what we had hoped for. Uh, so we had to do a reset. And uh, then after the after the reset, we um, we were scheduled for another uh, ultrasound to look at the uh, the utero lining, and uh, from there it was COVID. Um, my lady here ended up with COVID, and yeah. yeah, so she ended up with COVID on Monday, and then on Thursday of that same week, um, myself and and uh, our son and our daughter, we went and got tested just as, you know, precautionary thing, uh, thinking that, uh, you know, we were okay and there was nothing going on. And when we went and tested, my son and myself tested positive. Uh, yes. Yeah. So somehow the, the girl slipped through. I don't, I don't know how. But and, she... and, and if you see me kind of look one way or another is because the girl is sitting in here and she's listening in on the conversation. She wants in the videos. So, <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Um, so we she, might she, let her peek she, her head over. She was she was practicing like, oh, hey guys, it's J-G-S-E. Uh, <laughs> so she, she tried to come in with, with her own tag and all that. So mm -hmm. uh, if you see yeah. her face then. If you see if you see a, a, a young lady face, that's who it is. Yes, that's her daughter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so COVID happened. And when COVID happened, that reset us again because I actually called or well, I text our our um doctor about it and she was like, Yeah, um, let's just wait again. Um No, got, this is the nurse. The nurse practitioner. And she was like, Yeah, let's just wait. Um, don't worry about it. And I'm like, but my appointment's like two weeks away, or well at that time it was like a it was two weeks away still, I think. And she was like, mm -mm. she didn't even respond. It was just like, she was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this with her. <laughs> and so. So she, her appointment was, um, her appointment was scheduled for like one or two days after she was released from quarantine. Yes. Uh, so she was feeling better. And she was like, Galicia was like, hey, Please. I'm good to come in. So uh, let's keep, there was like, nope. nah, we'll, we'll push it. Nope. And so, so then we had to restart that process all over again. So the first time we restarted because um, the lining was too thick. This The second time we restarted because I ended up with COVID. Um, so then I don't know if it was due to all the medications and stuff. So this was really interesting. So after I got done with COVID, you know, a, a woman's cycle, it goes for so many days. Usually there's like a 21 to 28 day count, I think. And um it's funny because mine didn't go that long before I had another cycle. So I was like, does this one count? You know, so I'm like freaking out first thing, like maybe this one counts. And it was like going like 14 days. And um, we contacted the nurse practitioner and she was like, oh, okay, well, let's go. So it was like, okay. So now um, we are at the point of where. So we went on Monday. Yes. Uh, so our appointment was was scheduled for this past Monday. So uh, for if, if you if you're not in the uh, in the harvesting time space continuum <laughs> with us, uh, COVID happened for us uh, personally in October. So mm -hmm. early to mid October, mm -hmm. um, and now we are today is the day after uh, after Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, so today is is the twenty sixth of November in 2020. Mm -hmm. Uh so it's it's Friday. So earlier this week on Monday, uh we had our appointment for uh you know to look at the uh the ultrasound for her uterus. So Yeah. So that appointment was really interesting. We got there and everything and we're in there, we're talking and me and Jonathan we're like ready, we're like pumped, right? And we're like, "Yes, yeah, happening. We're excited." 
and she comes in there and she's ready to go to and she's looking she's like okay let's look at the the uterus and let's look at the lining mesh everything looks good or whatever and she gets in there and she's like huh hmm and you know whenever you hear a nurse or a doctor go hmm hmm that is something <laughs> we didn't practice that <laughs> <laughs> something is not just right and so it was like oh god it was happening and um from there she kind of looked at some things and she was a little questionable on some stuff and so she sent it and forwarded it here he, he's playing with my dreads um just focus it's hard you're focus, focus. so he um i'm about to say he's playing in my dress again um so <laughs> so <laughs> so listen so she's like got some questions about a couple of things and so she goes on and says uh we're gonna go ahead and proceed you know get everything written out you know for your medications and stuff which you're gonna change take or whatever and your new additional shot if and everything is okay if everything is okay so we're gonna go ahead and proceed have you know the n other nurse talk to you guys about all that and i'm going to reach out to the doctor and see what he wants to do and long story short um we got a phone call like late that evening and they were like hey you guys are a go and like, yes. no no yes See, no you didn't give the build up like you gave me and everything i said long story short no we need to th that's that's the if i say the, long story short how am i supposed to give them a build up when you when we are like long story short look you shouldn't have said that we but don't I want, followed this is what, what they, i said this is what they're here for listen so spoiler alert it's already been spoiled um but but yeah so so when they went in they looked at they spoiler looked at the, alert it's already been spoiled yeah exactly you need to work on that no yeah um, that didn't come out so right. like i was saying they had already uh, i mean she went in the, the nurse practitioner she'd done the ultrasound and doing the ultrasound um you know it was a little it was a little iffy um but we so, already talked about that part so um later on that evening when uh, we were waiting on the call, he just wanted to be it came to in. Story. No, I didn't. I wish you would have told it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Um, um, yeah. So we're we're waiting on the call, and and um, she was she was in the room or, or something, and she came out, and I'm sitting there at the at the desk. I'm just working away, and she looked at me and was like, "Hey, so," and I'm like, "Okay, so." Are we are we praying, uh, you know, for for next time? Are we preparing for next time? She said, "Yeah." So the the nurse practitioner, you know, she called me and she she said her name. Um, she said she she called me and said that uh, somehow she she feels like she's uh, always has to be a bear of bad news. And I'm just like, okay, so we so pause. We reset. So keep in mind, she said that to me. Like he said, I was in a room. I was in the restroom. So I'm like, which is in to, our room. Right. But I'm like, oh, bearer of bad news. This is terrible. You know, I'm already in a position where we're like, this is just awful. And oh, so now you want to tell the story. <laughs> well, you said don't <laughs> skip any parts. Go ahead. That's it. And That's so it. I like it. She's like, hey, this is, I hate to be the, I hate that I'm always the bearer. I feel like I'm always the bearer of bad news. And I'm like, oh, this is terrible. And she was like, but not this time. Um, you have an appointment. And I'm like, yes. And I'm like, oh, this is so awkward. Yes. This is really awkward. In so, the and she's room. really short. So I imagine her feet kind of swinging while she's trying to use the restroom and, and this and not touching the I think they kind of were. They kind of swing sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awkward conversation. Yeah, yeah you brought it up. So, I did bring hey, it up. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I, I wanted to make sure I got you guys the, the story because so it was the interesting. So the finished part of the story was I came out the restroom, then our bedroom, and it came in here while he oh, was working. We got and a comedian on I, our hands. Um, we come out the restroom and through the bedroom, <laughs> through our front living room, through the kitchen, make our way through the dining room, through the family I room where my through, office is located. Right. And then I told him, you know, what she said to me. His face lit up. It was like, he was so adorable. He was like a little Care Bear. He was like glowing. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at him. He looked like he can fart rainbows and unicorns right now. It and was then just I adorable. <laughs> This just went left. This just went left. Anyway, moving on. So, yep, that's what happened. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, so yeah. So where are we now? Where are we at now? So where that led us to was I came off of one medication and um I ended up with going on to a shot, um, progesterone oil. Um I'm on that shot from now until about 12, 13 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with um, estradiol patches. Estradiol yeah. patches and the pill. And I'll be on those for about 12, 13 weeks. The, with some the pill, stuff. she means estradiol pill, not yes. the pill. No, yeah. estradiol pills. And then also like metformin and stuff like that. So I'm still on like a lot of this stuff up to about 13 weeks or so. Um, still doing prenatals and. Um, extra vitamins like vitamin E. We're doing vitamin right. E, I think, and then um, iron pills because I'm anemic and just stuff like that. So I think right now she's at nine pills. Um, yeah. Nine pills in the morning and then a pill and a half. And then tomorrow in the I'll evening. start a steroid in the morning and in the evening. Okay, so um, that would be ten and two and a half. Right for four days, I would do that. Um, and then we have like another shot. Um, oh, so I guess we need to tell you when the, what, what the, did we say exactly what the good news was? Not. Not exactly. Not, you're right. So go ahead. Not exactly, but we're gonna get to it in a moment. So let me tell you about this progesterone oil that I'm wearing. Okay. So before you guys remember when I was taking like shots on my stomach, like my belly, you know, and it was like two or three little shots or whatever. So the needle was like this big. Um, let's see. Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay, so the needle was that big. Now, the shot that I'm getting. Give me the other one. Give me the other one. Oh. For comparative measure. Now, the needle has grown. Put your hand. Don't stick me. Well, I gotta do it sometime okay. in the morning. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just here with these. This is, huh? We not oh, here. This I'm talking about with the needle. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Move. You're done. <laughs> so, this is now the needle that I'm being stuck with. And no longer in my stomach. Um, I'm actually getting stuck um, in my butt. And we rotate cheeks um, every morning. <laughs> yeah. And it has to be done before 9 a.m. Before Which is what I was talking about when I said I have to do it every day in the morning. Talking yes. about. Yeah. yeah, because it's a little awkward to try to do this yourself. Like you can do it yourself. Um, and, and there's also there's also an option to to do it in the muscle of the thigh, of the thigh but it's recommended to. for the for the muscly part of the cheeks. And then it's like one mil that you do, so up to about that amount. So. Yeah. One meal. So, do you know what the progesterone oil does? Not at all. Actually, yes. Um, I said not at all, but I do. It's supposed to help um, prepare the the body. So, where we want to build the... What's it called? Placenta, uterus sac. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know these terms. But we'll get back to it because she'll remember in a second. Did you have something else to tell them? I remember in a second what's called. Anyway, so that builds up, you know, progesterone is what builds all that stuff up or whatever for the baby to be in, you know, the embryonic, little embryonic yeah. fluid sac thing, whatever technical term. Um, so that's what all that's for. So seeing that I'm not getting pregnant like the natural way. It's like they're taking the embryo and placing it in. Then I've kind of skipped a couple of things where my body would naturally kick in and produce these things. Now my body's not really doing that because it's it's not gone through the natural process. So this kind of helps us along the way. So you got something else to tell them? Oh, the day. Yeah. We're we're sharing the day. Do they really? You guys really want to know the day? Like I was stopped at a, a local restaurant this morning. I went in there, hair looking a mess. Shut um, up, was you really? Uh, yeah, that was. I didn't have on a hat. I need a haircut, <laughs> extremely bad. Like it's terrible. Um, so a lady that I used to work. He made with, it through Thanksgiving though really well. I encouraged him through it. He looked yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, he was bluffing so, it real well. So I loved it. I, a lady that I used to work with, she seen me, and it was just like, oh, hey. And, you know, and, and, and I was just sitting there looking like, oh, snap. I'm in here looking like 
Um, I'm bumming it. Um, but she said, yeah, yeah. So where's the videos? And she, she's probably watching this. Hey, uh, Miss Sherry. Um, <laughs> not not Miss Sherry, but the other Miss Sherry. Okay. But, uh, but um, she's like, hey, you know, I've been watching the videos and stuff like that. I haven't seen one in a while. Uh, you know, so so tell me what's going on. Like, where where are we? And and I I gave her the scoop. Um, so I do know that some people out there in uh, our IVF journey land, uh, in the Harvest and Time Space Continuum, they are interested in we hearing. We really have this Harvest and Space Continuum yeah. thing going. I guess we do kind of operate on our own time. It's a little weird. Anyway, let's get to the point. All right, give me these for you. Accidentally stuck yourself with with um, the cap on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, I was terrified of getting stuck. Like, I was freaking out and all that stuff. And then he stuck me and fell in with it. And I was like, just make sure you, like, jab it, but don't, like, stick me. Like, you know. And it was funny. He did it. And I thought it was playing because I thought he had the cap on. I thought it was like this. If you're curious what it felt like. And I'm like, oh, so maybe he going to play with me like this. And I said, I know. I felt a little bit of a burn in. I'm like, wait a minute. And I look, and he had stuck me for real, for real. And I thought... I thought when he did it, that it, the cap was on it. So it didn't hurt. So that was pretty interesting. That was pretty cool. So it doesn't really hey, hurt as bad. You got something to tell them. So um, she called, told us that we are able to proceed with our transfer. Um, yes, that's amazing. There's a muscle so, under there somewhere. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, um, transfer. So, Transfer and implants not the same thing because some of you guys are gonna look and be like, "Oh, you're going to have a transfer." Look at. Oh, some of you guys are thinking, "Oh, we're gonna have a transfer or whatever," and um, boom, I'm pregnant. Okay, so when basically, are we telling them when? We just had this. Whole I know. Okay, so transfer is Monday. It's actually like. Two days from now. Ish. Ish. Because it's night. Ish. It's dark outside. Yeah. So it's two days from now. 10 a.m. Monday. Um, so yeah, we're going to drive on down to the clinic and get in there and get it done. Well, here's the thing. They're going to transfer the embryo into my, um, into my uterus or whatever. And um, with that, technically, I guess you could say I was kind of sort of it's in the house it's in the house but yeah. it has it implanted yeah, it ain't moved in like, so it ain't unloaded unpacked exactly yeah. and so it's like eight days we have to wait and then we go and actually get a pregnancy test um to see if everything took and if baby harbison has decided that they want to stay put and want to proceed with the pregnancy so we've done everything that we can do at this point and you know at this point we just trust god with the process and you know we just believe that whatever happens at that point is it's a god thing yeah and and it's not just you know of course with this point um but it's it's throughout the entire process yeah. we've we've been diligent on on praying and and seeking god on uh what next steps and things like that and you know even when it when it has been pushed back and things like that it's like darn like i we would have liked for it to have been um possible earlier but the lord has has written down um he has he has written every single day of excuse me he has written every single <laughs> my, my mom is calling me so we both I, just I, like uh i definitely have to call her back because that's that's my mama um but um i lost my train of thought we've so, been praying continuously so that's that, where we are now yeah so that's what i was going um where i was going the, the lord has written every day of our lives um before we were born he, he told jeremiah that before you before uh um, you were formed in your mother's womb. I knew you. Uh, so this situation is the same with the children. So, um, yeah. And again, as far as gender, um, we have the option to select, but we are not selecting. We're going to at least let the first one uh, be a surprise. We won't find out until around week 16, Yeah. Um, which is first heartbeat uh, via ultrasound. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we'll find out at that point uh, the gender. So. so, and before we get off, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of let both these older children of ours get in this video and just say hello 
and see if they got anything they want to say on this. <laughs> Our son is being bashful. Hello. <laughs> so uh, while, while you're peeking in, um, and the the, the girl, um, she has a, a band-aid on her face. She can escape. So um, it is okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, look, she nailed it. Good job. Good job. She gave, she gave it a nice soft. Hi, guys. Um. Oh, so do you all have have a preference on on gender of your of your baby sibling? Peek in, peek in. Don't talk to um, me. I'll talk to them. Yes, I I want a girl, but not right now. Like I still want to be the only girl for just a little bit longer. So let's hope <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> okay, and you? No. <laughs> so we so we've been talking about the scripture uh when the angel came down and they were like <laughs> um, um the man of god was like well the 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 uh um the person that, that was in the scripture and i forgot exactly who it was but it escaped me um but it, uh the angel came down and uh they asked the angel who are you for are you for us or are you for them and the angel's response was no wasn't 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 a yes or no question. It was. I'm asking you, who are right, you who, for? You for them or you you for us? And the like, angel's response was no. Oh, um, take a look at it. Look it up. It's it's really funny. That's like what it. he's he's doing. Yeah. So, girl <laughs> or boy? No. No. Do you do you want a sibling? A yeah. new sibling? You gotta talk to them. I would want a new sibling. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. So oh. between the two, he's the youngest. Right. He's actually fifteen, and she's seventeen. That's cap. So that's not. Don't don't believe it. I'm older. Cap. Okay. So yeah, she was there uh, when it all went down. Um, yeah, she's so. definitely older. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna get ready and get off here. We're gonna definitely update you guys again afterwards. I don't know if he's gonna be funny and grab videos of me or anything. Um, or Monday while I'm unaware or not, but wherever the case is, we're totally excited and we hope that you guys are definitely praying for us and um, we're definitely going to be hitting all of you back up next week with some more interesting details.